Good morning everybody. This is Mark, your instructor here, and welcome to week 8 of our COM 151 class. We are 8 weeks into our week of 10, so we only have 8, 9, and 10 to go. So before I go into anything else, I'm, I'm imploring you and asking you to go to the gradebook, check out everything there, make sure all your work is caught up and turned in. Uh, if you got zeros on something, that means you either didn't do it or I don't have it. So uh, get out there and click on it and make sure you get it done. I want you to get the best grade that you can uh, possibly get. Anything but discussions can be caught up if you're behind, so keep that in mind. Zoom sessions, uh, if you've missed Zoom sessions, they are 100 worth 100 points. You can go to uh, the announcements usually on a Wednesday or Friday and see the links to the ones uh, that were done. And you can uh, get those caught up and send me a note about what we talked about, which one it was, and so forth, and I'll get your grade updated. Uh, but we only got three weeks to go, and I want you to uh, get the best grade that you can. Please don't wait till week nine or ten and start uh, panicking and sending me messages about, Mark, I really need to pass this class. What can I do? Uh, go on and start now and turn all the work in. That's what you can do. Because um, I'm sure that you'll have uh, requirements and concerns from other classes as well. And if you're not caught up, uh, you're going to start getting very, very stressed as we get to the end of the term. So enough of a lecture and kind of fussing or anything. I just, again, want you to get the best grade that you can. It's time now to uh, get started and make sure that uh, you're up to speed. Our next Zoom session is actually on Monday night. This is a voluntary session. Uh, some of you have asked for special consideration and help with some of the assignments. And so at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday night, I'll do a special session for anyone who wants to show up. Uh, we'll go over anything you need to go over. This is voluntary. It is not graded. Um, so don't feel like you have to come. But I know I've had some folks ask for it. And we'll set up a session to see if I can help you. Our next required Zoom session will be Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. During that session, two things will happen. We'll start looking at Microsoft Access, which is a relational database. And we'll also go over the proctored exam. The university requires us to uh, complete a proctored exam uh, in COM 151. Other classes, I think, have it as well. Uh, and that requires you to come online with me. That's why it's proctored. And you show me a photo ID. It could be a driver's license or other kind of ID that has your photo. And I will tell you what to do to uh, take and pass the proctored exam. This is required. Uh, it will be relatively easy to do. Uh, but uh, we'll get that tackled on Tuesday morning as well. So we'll introduce you to Microsoft Access. And we'll knock out the uh, proctored exam in week 8. Okay. So with that said, week 8, we are looking at Microsoft Access. Uh, Microsoft Access is what they call a relational database. Now a database is simply a collection of information. Um, information is stored in, uh, in what we call tables. They look like Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, if you will, but we call them tables and databases. And it has rows and columns and so forth, and it has different terminology. We call them records. So you will basically, in a database, we collect information. Once that information is collected on, on whatever topic it is that we want to do, we want to be able to ask questions of that data, and that's called asking a query. So we input data, we get this large collection of data, and then we ask questions or we query it. We can create reports from that. We can uh, create forms that make it easy to put information in. And there's just a lot of different things that we can do with a database. If you're the average uh, computer user, you probably won't do a lot with a Microsoft Access. But you do use computers, uh, I mean, not computers, but you do use databases every day at home and at work. So anywhere there's a collection of information, there's a good bet that you're dealing with a database, whether you realize it or not. For an example, when you go out to Amazon Prime and you type in a search and say, show me, um, I don't know, what are we looking for uh, some new golf clubs, maybe. You want to look for some new golf clubs for your, uh, your friend or your significant other. You type in the golf clubs in the search. 
When you type in search, that's a, you're asking a question of the database, right? And that's a query. So we call it search, but in database world, we would say we queried the database or we asked the database a question. But anyway, Microsoft Amazon Prime is one giant database. It's a massive collection of information of, of products that they want to sell. And we input into the search and look for it, which again, called query. The right information comes up in the database, and then obviously we can buy those things or, or, or look at those and read about them, etc. So imagine yourself working at Amazon. You might be one of the database uh, specialists or managers, and your job is, is to put all that information in for someone who might want to buy it. So see, you use databases, and you may not even pay attention to it. Uh, doctor's offices use databases. Companies use databases. Again, don't get hung up on the terminology. Databases are collections of information. Okay? So we're going to learn about that uh, this week, a little bit about how to build one and use one. Uh, access is a shade different than others because we call it a relational database, and I'll explain all of that in class and how all that works. But uh, very, very powerful tool. Uh, takes quite a bit of learning. You're only going to get one week of it, so you're just really going to get an introduction so you know what we're talking about. Um, you, if you take, I think, COM 235, you'll see it in a lot more detail where you get like four or five weeks of training on it. Uh, but just keep in mind, again, this is introductory. Uh, there are an entire four-year college degrees in database management and database science and that sort of thing. So you're going to get one week enough to uh, say I know what that is. I hope that uh, everything's going well for you so far. We've looked over Microsoft Word, we looked at PowerPoint, we've looked at Excel, now we're going to look at Access, and then I think we finish up looking at uh, Microsoft Outlook and all the different email uh, scenarios that we have. So I hope the class is going well for you. You're picking up some pointers, learning a few things. If you got any concerns or questions, let me know. And I'll see you in class.